tell you that German knock knock joke? Uh, no. Knock knock. Who's there? I answer questions, Englishman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Is This Shit? With me, Dan Peters, and him, Sean Vincent. <laughs> and this week, doing, we'll... a, doing our bit for race relations with Europe. <laughs> Don't forget that. Anyway. Anyway. This week, we're looking at the. We are looking at the Brainworks Vertigo VSM 3. Of course, another catchy title there for something. I'd, why not name something what it is? Why not call it the Vertigo? What is it? <laughs> it's a saturator. The Vertigo Saturator 1. And then when you do the next saturator, call it the Vertigo Saturator 2. Well, you know, maybe you should be working for these people, Dan. That's, that's, that makes sense to me. But, no, we are well, looking at the Vertigo VSM3, and this is a piece of hardware that has been modelled by Brainworks, and obviously we know Brainworks are pretty good at that. We do. We do. What do you want to know, Dan? <laughs> what famous piece of... Now that I've slagged it off, what what's famous piece <laughs> of uh, hardware that I've not heard of? Is this... Is this... It's modelled after the Vertigo VSM3. Brilliant. So that whole diatribe that I went through at the beginning now, anybody that knows this is going to go, Dan doesn't know his onions. They are, aren't they? Well, okay, so for those of us that are like me, that don't know our onions about Vertigo VSM 3s, take us through what it does, Sean. You, What's a saturator? What's a saturator? It's something that supplies saturation. And we were talking about this in a car, were we not? What does the saturation do? Why has it all of a sudden become a big thing? Saturation allows you to add perceived volume and sort of bringing things forward in the mix without turning them up or adding compression a lot of the time. Saturation is just another tool. How? How does it do that? It does, sl it adds harmonics and tiny amounts of harmonic distortion, mm -hmm. which is perceived as loudness. Mm. A bit like I said, is it compression and distortion? And you went, no, it's well, saturation. It okay, yeah, it is. It's not a compressor and a distortion pedal. It's it's a different okay. thing. Cool. So what do you use saturation on? Well, you can use it on pretty much everything. It depends what you want to achieve with it. So mm. saturation, quite often you would use, let's say you have a drum track, which is a little bit lifeless. Mm -hmm. If you use a saturator on it, it can really bring it to life, make it sound more exciting, more full. Mm -hmm. Um quite often in this particular case this is really for mastering you might use this on your two bus or in a mastering situation it brings things to life it gives things some extra harmonics that it didn't have so that all sounds pretty cool and it sounds like something we'd all want to use but i can see it says second harmonic first crusher thd mixes third you know i've been a sound engineer for 20 years i don't know what any of these things mean uh -huh. so it's a very cool thing but it's quite complex isn't it okay yeah so there's different types of harmonics you have a second order harmonic and a third order harmonic the second order harmonic on this is called the FET crusher FET being this is the solid state bit this is a, a piece of solid state circuitry which you could basically overdrive to generate harmonics the second bit the third harmonic Zena blender as they call it this is based on the tube found in EMI desks from Abbey Road era uh, also in the TG1 whatever it is the, you know the, the Chandler stuff they do with the EMI tube in it so this is a tube distortion saturation circuit and what the unique thing of the Vertigo is is that it's got these two things and then in between it's got the mixer so you can decide which one is affecting the signal more the THC mixer the THD mixer yeah THD oh, yeah. your eyes are as bad as mine these days yeah that's the THC that is the THC yeah. causing uh, the THD <laughs> to not not be visible <laughs> Okay, good. So you can your second order harmonics, third order harmonics, and then the ability to mix between those two things. That's pretty pretty cool. It's quite technical, I think it's fair to say. Um, a little bit. Mm. A little bit technical. It's one of those things you have to experiment with. I was quite late to the saturation thing. I just I just thought it was distortion and I didn't want to distort everything. And then I started using it. I'm like, oh right, okay, so it's not that. It's 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 the forwardness in the mix thing I think that I really like about mm. it. Uh, I do use a saturator on my two bus now. It just it does bring it to life a bit. This one, the only issue I found with this, which I didn't like, was that I've had to keep the drive on both of these sections like so low. Uh, anything above like two out of ten, and, and it starts being too um, audible, the distortion. And I don't really want that. I want it to sound exciting. I want it to give it that mojo, but I don't want it to really start distorting audibly. So for me, I think a switch, I know this is modeling a piece of hardware, they're not going to add this, but something that would change that. So that, that between zero and two, if I had a whole sweep of that control, that would be really useful because I've never been 
uh, go above. You're that. a subtle guy, aren't you? See, I would like this on about probably twelve you know, out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. Yeah, whereas you're like, mm, you're, a, you're a... Well, subtlety is the key, generally, mm. to a good mix. <laughs> Not in Dan's world. <laughs> everything louder. Yeah, yeah. I want everything louder. Yeah. He's the guy you don't want at your mix session. Turn that's... that up. <laughs> now turn that up. No, that's too quiet, so well, turn what, that up. What did? What was the last master I sent you? The last tune I got you to master. Well, you make it, yeah, I want everything... Everything louder. Everything loud, make it louder. Bump it and pump it. Bump and pump. I think was your instructions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. So, um, the Vertigo VSM3 modelled on a piece of hardware that I should have known about. Sean, yeah. how much does it cost? Uh, so, normally this is $149 uh, on sale at the moment on Plugin Alliance for $39.99. Very cool, yeah. very cool. Um, and is it shit? It's not shit. I, I, the only thing I'd say about all saturators at the moment is that there's loads of good ones and you're going to have to be careful that you pick the one that works for your workflow best. I would say personally, this one doesn't fit my workflow as well as others. Ah, so but, but there's nothing wrong with it. It it will be good for some people. It's just not the kind of saturation I want to use. Is it shit? It's not shit. No, it's good. It's just okay. not my cup of tea. God, you're such a diplomat. Um, well, it's not shit. That wouldn't be fair to say that. I think it's shit. Okay, Dan thinks it's shit. I think it's good. It's just not my thing. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, we should be able to argue live on YouTube, not live, we record ourselves arguing and then put it on YouTube by sending uh, money through Patreon. We should be in the Conservative Party. <laughs> no, we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. However, if things keep going the way they are, I will end up there. I, don't, I mean, never mind. Not with, not with the skeletons in your closet, you won't. <laughs> they make me look like an avatar, dude. True. Good point. Good point. Anyway, let's just hope the whole thing with the midgets never comes yeah. out. <laughs> it was only one, not four. Okay, fair dues. Rightio. Anyway, so what do we need to remind people to do? We need to remind them to subscribe to the channel, like the video, what else? Notifications, and head to the website. Look at the uh, new website and uh, buy some merch. Buy some merch. Oh, yeah, and we have a, we have an Instagram now. We do have an Instagram, uh, uh, Studio Life 101. We do. And, uh, yeah. I think that might be the end of us remembering things for them to remember. It's going to be an interesting episode, this one, Sean. A lot of editing coming. (laughs) A lot of editing. (laughs) See you later.